In the following Novastore training video, we will walk through the setup of a backup schedule utilizing data retention. Let's get started. Once Novastore is open, the first thing we'll do is configure a device. Click on the Device tab. Click on Add. In this example, we will add a network device. Click on OK. Give it a device name. Put in the network path. Put in a domain name only if the device is part of the domain. And then a username and password, preferably an administrator account. As you can see in my example, here's my device name, the network path, no domain name is needed because the device was not part of a domain. The next thing we'll do is configure the default settings. Click on the Novastore icon, click on default settings. Click on run as, and put in your administrator credentials in here. Make sure to test them. If you need notifications, click on Notifications. Check email, click on Email Settings, and put in your preferred SMTP server. And click on Save. Click on OK. Now click on the Backup tab. Click on New Job. Give your backup job a name, preferably the name of the server. I will select my items to back up, in this instance, my documents. Below you will see your plugins. If you add SQL or Exchange, they would be listed here. Click on Backup to, and as you can see, my device is listed here. The media name is the name of the file that it will create with this extension. Click on Settings. We will select the Append to Media mode because I want to keep more than one copy of my full backup. If you only want one copy, just leave on Overwrite. Click on Schedule. Click on Yes. You will see the file name of your backup script listed below. Click on Save. We will run this weekly on a Saturday. As you can see, my credentials are already listed there. When we go to the Schedule tab, you will see that my job is listed there already. If you want to run your job now, just right click on it and click on Run Now. As you can see here, I already have four full backups. We will run another backup again. Our backups will keep growing until we add retention. So let's add some retention. Click on Schedule. Click on Backup Retention. Click on New. Let's give our retention a name. In this instance, since it's the full backup, we will give it the name of the server, full, and retention. Click on Open. Click on Yes. Here you can set to Age, Count, or Age and Count. We will just set it to Count to keep it simple. I only want to keep two full backups, and I will set this to two. Change this process to Normal Backup. Click on Advance. Since we are only doing to disk, 
click on disk. Uncheck remove index logs. And tell the backups that it wants to process. For this example, it's our current server. Click on save. And click on save one more time. And now the important part, add the retention to the schedule. Click on add. Open up the utility folder. Open up the retention job. Set the job to run a few minutes before the other job. Set this to 1030. Click on OK. I will now run the retention so you can see the results. And now you'll see that I only have two jobs left in there. The same process is followed to do the differential backups. If you want to edit the jobs, click on Schedule, right-click on the job, and click Modify Job, and add items as needed. For this example, I will add music. Click on Save, and that will modify the job. If you want to modify the schedule, click on Schedule again, right-click on the job, and Modify Schedule. For this example, we will change this to Daily. And I want it to run Monday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Click OK. Now to edit the retention, click on Backup Retention, click on Open, select the retention job, and let's say we want to set this to 3. Click on Save. Click on Save again and say yes that you want to replace it. If you want to edit the retention schedule, right-click and modify schedule. To keep the consistency of the other jobs, we will go to daily, Monday and Wednesday, and we will set this job to 9.50 p.m. This will run 10 minutes before the other job. This will clear out the jobs so they don't accumulate. Click on OK. I will now run another backup. As you can see we set it to three so we'll, there's three jobs in there. Run it again. Since there's only three, it won't delete the three that are in there. We'll run this again. We have four jobs. And now we'll run the retention. And we're back to three.